everyone, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. My name is Corey Baker. You may re remember me from some past videos that are where I uh, guest presented. Anyway guys, I'm back for another review and today we've got something really special. We've got the Cogs of Nathus maquette from Chronicle Collectibles. So we've got this uh, box in front of us and this is going to be a very special review. These, these uh, pieces from Chronicle Collectibles are second to none. Uh, and it's a really nice bit of movie history as well because they're molded from the exact maquettes from Stan Winston Studios for the second movie. Okay, so let's have a look at the box first up. So here we have the Chronicle Collectibles box. We have a screen grab from the movie. We see Dieter Stark, he's running away from the compies down there. We all know what happens to him. Uh, here we have an inverted colour kind of picture of the Cogs of Nathan's maquette we're getting in the box. Now this goes in line with a lot of the marketing style that, uh, this is the marketing style that Lost World had back in 1997. They did a lot of like retro kind of 90s inverted colour things, uh, pictures on their, you know, trading cards and boxes and books. So it goes in line with that. So that's pretty cool. That's a kind of nice little touch that I enjoy. Okay, so the side of the box, here's what we're getting inside. Cogs Nathus maquette. The Cogs of Nathus make their big screen debut in the opening encounter with the little girl. Setting in motion a series of events that leads Ian Malcolm and the others to Site B. But later in the film there is a much more graphic depiction of the less than three feet long Compi. With their long necks, flexible forearms and razor sharp teeth, as the land piranha they really are light, fast, deadly predators that take no prisoners. So that's a really cool, kind of ominous write-up of the Cobbles and Apis on the side there. Gets, gets you excited about what's inside the box. All right, so here is another inverted color kind of picture of a few Cobbles and Apis. So this is the, like the one we're getting, but it looks like they had a few different uh, maquettes from the uh, Cobbles and Apis as well. I'm not too sure how they got these pictures, maybe just from a, um, Maybe from just the Stan Winston photo. And on the side here, we've got the nice Lost World logo. Nothing's really on the bottom, just a black bottom. And then, of course, the company responsible for this is Chronicle Collectibles. Okay, guys, let's get this out of the box. This is going to be very exciting. Okay guys, first things first, we're going to have a look at this display base and as you can see it's a very nice base that they give us here, quite thick uh, and you can see it resembles the riverbed they chase data through. So they've got, that's basically what I think they're going for here and uh, they're pulling it off quite nicely. You've got two little footprints for where you put the cogs from Napus when you put him on the base. He's got two little sticks in the bottom of his feet that will just slot into there quite nicely. Looking really nice, if you can just see that. It looks just like the riverbed in the movie. Got a lovely bronze kind of embossed the Lost World logo. We're gonna turn it around and this is where we have a little bit of a write-up. Uh, basically has all the trademark stuff here. Chronicle Collectibles. This piece is 188 of 300, so there was only 300 made. It's quite, they're quite sought after. Uh, these thing, I think these you can still get hold of these, but they're they get they are getting a little bit uh, rare to find now because they they're, as you can see there is only three hundred of them, and this is the coolest thing about this bay that uh, this this maquette piece, this is one for one scale. So this Cox's Napus is exactly how big Cox's Napus is from the movie. So isn't it? That's just that's just amazing. So what we're gonna do. Enough talking about the base, we're going to get the compi out and we're going to put him on his base and talk about him. Okay, here he comes. I'm going to put the two little posts into the holes. And it should go nicely into the base. There we go. 
Here we go guys, the compi is all on his base now and he's looking very nice. Lovely green texture all over the body. And I tell you, it really doesn't give you uh, the pictures online from this maquette really doesn't give it justice. It you kind of it looks so much better in person, in my honest opinion. We're going to try and get a closer look now, show you exactly all the little nitty gritty details of the piece. Okay, starting at the head, now we've used a really lovely gloss on his red little eye there, and it it does look really it looks a lot better than what I've seen online. I honestly didn't think it was going to look as good as it does. Now they do look kind of wet, um, it's going on like a, a wet texture to his skin. And that's what kind of they look like, that they're looking like in the movie as well. But as you can see here, this has got, he's got lovely green stripes here. No really kind of harsh transitions to them, it's quite a nice, lovely transition about, throughout the whole piece. Let's have a look at his little hands, little cops and Napers hands. There he is. Tiny little hands. So you turn around a little bit. Yeah, so he's got a little bit of a, a lighter, creamy colour underneath. It's green on top. Again, this is just so good it being one for one scale. This is what makes it awesome, I think. Going down here, going down his feet. His feet on the base looking very nice. Little black claws on his feet. He does have a nice little colour underneath. So as you go up towards his neck, he does actually have like a nice red, a reddish kind of bit underneath his le uh, underneath his neck. Going down the tail. It's got a really long tail. That's very cool. Looks really nice when you stand back and have a look. Okay, we're just going to turn it around. Turn it around and have a look at the other side. There we go. You can see you can see his head even better from this side, this angle. And this is really amazing to think that this is actually just um, part of movie history. Really, this is they would have made this maquette to show Steven Spielberg when they were doing all the designs for the dinosaurs. So this is made from Stan Winston Studios, and uh, they had to be they had to look pretty good when Steven went in, uh, walked into the room and saw the design. But again, I keep on ranting on about it. This is one for one scale, and that is just cool. That is just so cool to me. I'm gonna have to stand up and show you what it looks like when I hold him. But you can, it really, it's really, it's a really cool scale. Like you just knowing that it's the exact same size from that, you know, from the movie. It's it's really awesome. We're gonna have a look, looking straight on as well. We can do that. His tail is really it's just so long. There we go. Awesome. What we'll do is we'll give him a bit of a mess, uh, um, uh, measure. So he's about. Let me have a look here. So from tip to tail to around where his front of his head is, it's about 29 inches. And with the base, he stands about 15 inches, but without the base, it's about 13 inches. If you're wondering how tall a coxal napus is. Okay, everyone, here's a little sneak preview of what I've been working on in the last couple of months. My little collection. As you can see, I've got the Chronicle Collectible Stegosaurus as well. And I'll show, this is basically, I'll show you what the coxal napus looks. How big he looks. See? One for one scale, looking very cool. Okay guys, so this is his, this is where he lives. He's gonna be living here now. And there he is. Looking 
looking very nice, very at home there between these two uh, Pachycephalosaurus and the Stegosaurus. If you'd anyone like to see more of the uh, videos from me, you can come and subscribe to my channel at Corey Baker 92 I'll be going uh, into a close look at my collection very soon on that channel. That was the Cops of Napus maquette from Chronicle Collectibles. Hope you guys enjoyed having a close look at the maquette. As you can see, he's looking very nice and at home beneath the Stegosaurus. And here we got the uh, Horizon Raptor and the, we've got the Horizon Brachiosaurus sticking his head up there as well. If you'd like to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe to my channel, Corey Bacon 92 And uh, otherwise, you can subscribe to Jurassic Collectibles to see more Jurassic Park themed videos. Thank you very much for Jurassic Collectibles for giving me the opportunity to make this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.